I am honored to be here on the occasion of the release of this book on Nehru's first recruits because I was literally Nehru's last recruit. Uh, the story I believe is worth sharing with you. In October 1962, the Chinese allegedly invaded India. On the day that Tawang fell, the foreign service exams began in London. When they were over, I was the newspaper, I, had, I was prominent in the politics of Cambridge Union. And so the newspapers used to make references to me as being very left-wing, as being a communist. So after I had passed the foreign service exam, and I'd done rather well, if I may say so, I suddenly found that I was not getting any kind of admission letter. So I wrote to the Ministry of External Affairs saying I haven't received my joining letter, as it was called. And in reply, I got a telegram. I was still in Europe. I got a telegram saying, regret to inform you that you have been rejected from all services. And I immediately realized what it was about. The Intelligence Bureau had a very important source of information on Indian students studying at foreign universities. It was the newspapers especially the yellow rags. And so the Intelligence Bureau, and I'm not quite sure why it's called that, because it seems to be the one quality they lack. Um, they read these newspapers and came to the conclusion that as I was a communist, and as some people said that I had raised money for the Chinese, I wasn't able to raise money to eat my dinner. How was I going to raise